right, welcome. Mike Simmons of WPHowTos.com here. And on screen, you are looking at the WordPress 2014 theme, which is the default WordPress theme at the time of this video. Now, I've really grown to like the 2014 theme a lot. In fact, I'm, I really, really like the theme. I think it's a great theme. But one thing I don't like about it is the way it is aligned to the left right, right out of the box by default. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to center the 2014 theme. It's a real simple process. I'm also going to show you how to install and activate a WordPress child theme using a plugin for that. Now, I, I was using a plugin called 14 Extended to center the WordPress 2014 theme along with the removing the left sidebar if I wanted to, too. But recently, that plugin became unavailable. In retrospect, it's probably not a good idea to rely on a plugin for site alignment things and that sort of thing. So I'm going to show you how to align your 2014 theme, center align it without using the 14 extended plugin. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our WordPress dashboard and we're going to install a plugin and make a child theme. So I'm just going to click Add New under Plugins and I'm going to search for one click child theme. And here it is right here, and I'll just go ahead and click Install Now. I've used this plugin, and it, it does the job so far with everything I've tried. So uh, making a child theme is really easy, but this is even easier, of course. So we'll go ahead and activate the plugin. Now, don't skip this process. If you're going to do any CSS changes, e even something as simple as what I'm doing, it's best to have a child theme. So we'll go ahead and hover over Appearance. Then you'll see something say child theme. Click on that and give your theme a name. See, it's going to make a child theme based on the current theme that you have activated, which is the 2014 theme. And I'm just going to call the child theme 2014-child. And I'm not going to bother to describe the theme or anything like that. I'm just going to click create child. And we get this little code up on top. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but it happened before, but didn't seem to matter. So I'm just going to click on the little link right there. It says theme switched. Now we have our active uh, theme is the 2014 child theme. Easy as that. Now what we are going to do, we're going to go to our C panel. And if you don't know what that is, that's your, you can get there by clicking on a link. HostGator sent you if you got your hosting at HostGator and it's called your control panel or C panel and you'll log in with your password and your and your uh, username and you can also get there by typing in your domain name and then a forward slash C panel now here's the C panel for the uh, subdomain I'm using for this test site right here and I'm just going to scroll down under files I'm going to click on file manager and I'm going to click go we want to open the web root and then here is the subdomain. You're not going to have to do this, but you'll just I'll double click on this subdomain. And now you'll just double click on WP Content to open that up. Then double click on Themes. And there's our child theme. I'm going to double click on that. And right here where it says style.css, I'm going to highlight that and then click on Code Editor to open this up. And we'll just click on Edit. Okay, and here's our child theme with just the basics on all we need. And of course, any uh, CSS changes you'll want to make, you'll need to put it be below this import URL line. So I'll just hit enter here a couple times. Now we're going to put in some code that will center our site. So I'm going to go over to my wphowtos.com site, and I have a post that I made, and which will also have the videos on there after I'm done making the videos. And I'll have the link in the uh, video description you can click on. And I'll also put an annotation in there where you can click on this to get the code. And this code right here we don't need right now. That's for removing the left sidebar. But right here is where the code we need. So all you need to do is just highlight this code and then right click and copy. We'll come back to our cPanel where we have our child theme style.css opened up. And I'll go ahead and paste that code in there. Then I'll click Save Changes. Now we'll go back to our test domain. I'm going to refresh the tab. And see, there we go. 
aligned in the center now. Okay, so that's all there is to it about centering the 2014 theme. Now, if you'd like to remove this left sidebar over here, look for my new video without using the 14 extended plugin, by the way. Look for my video that I'll be making shortly. And as always, have fun, keep smiling, and keep on keeping on.